Hey guys, I'm at a lovely tennis club in North London called Cumberland and this tennis club has beautiful grass courts and as you can see behind me, these are the courts that I'm going to be playing on. What I love playing on grass courts is that there is a low skidding bounce. The balls go a lot faster as the softness from the grass enables the ball to glide across the courts much smoother. A lot lower with the legs, you've got to make sure your knees are bent, you've got to have a wide base too. And as you can see, the grass courts are aesthetically beautiful too and very pleasing to the here are five key tips to playing on grass courts. The first tip is the mentality. This is very important to play aggressive from the baseline as well as looking to take charge when moving to the net. You want to make sure that you play a very offensive game style to first get a big punch in. If you're someone that's more of a counter puncher, I would highly recommend making sure that you stand closer to the baseline rather than a slower court like hard court or clay court where you may move further back and want a little bit more time whereas on grass court, the ball will skid a lot lower. So if you move too far back, it's gonna be a lot harder to dictate. The key for good grass court players is to make sure that you step in and take time away from your opponents. Flat shots, slice shots, as well as stepping down the court to move forwards to the net will help you to have a more of a winning chance when playing. Point number two is the serve. The serve is the most important shot in tennis and has a big asset when playing on grass courts. As you can see, when playing on grass courts, if you have a big serve, it helps you to follow up with an easier point, let's say shorter points, as well as dictating from the serve and first ball. I highly recommend hitting slice wide serves as well as the balls stay lower and the ball can cut outside the court. This can help you when moving forwards to the net, such as the serve and volley. On grass, it's key to aim for your targets when serving to make sure that you go for a big target as well as something that is not going to give your opponents the easiest chance to step in to dictate. You ideally want to have your first serve to start. This helps you to be one up in the point when starting. Point number three is the returns. The returns are very important to make sure that you get the ball deep down the middle and trying to not give your opponent an angle. Another important factor when doing the returns is to make sure that you step in a little bit closer. I call this hugging the baseline and you wanna make sure you move in a diagonal when cutting off the angle and taking time away from your opponents when returning off surf. I would highly recommend returning deep down the middle. It cuts off the angles for the server as well as going low down to their feet. So therefore they have to pick the ball up, which gives you a chance of the return to step into dictate on that third ball. The fourth point is the movement. When moving on grass, you have to make sure that you stay low. It's very important to be low because the ball skids through the court more. And if you have a low wide base, this helps you to move around the court more, picking up the balls that are lower down by your knees. Whereas if you were to play on a court surface like a hard court or clay court, the ball will typically bounce higher. When moving on a grass court, it's important to have a triangle. If you have a triangle base, your head is the top, your feet are the points at the bottom. This helps you when moving around the court, having a wide stable base. I also recommend moving laterally along the baseline as well as cutting the angles moving diagonally just like a return of serve. This is very important to take time away from your opponents as well as not moving too far back when defending. I also find when moving is to make sure that you have your weight shifted more on the front leg when hitting. You wanna push from your back leg driving forwards onto your front leg. This will help you to emphasize a little bit more power and stability and control into your shots. Finally, I would highly recommend to add a lot of variety into your game. On grass courts, if you're able to slice the ball, the ball typically stays lower. If you top spin the ball, it stays a little bit higher, as well as adding the variety of high balls, low ball slices. This can change up the dynamics of the game a lot more. Typically, most points are played between one and four shots, around 70% of points. So this makes up for a big portion of the points played. It's very important to make sure you get that punch in at the very beginning. I would advise to to make sure that you come into the net as well, take some serves and volleys. This has helped to take some time away from your opponents, especially when trying to put a little bit more pressure on them. Let's do some points play now. As you can see that when we play the points, I'm gonna to try to focus on taking time away from my opponent. I'm not gonna to try to get into too long of a rally. I'm gonna to try to shorten them.
I hope you guys enjoyed the five tips to help you when playing on grass courts. And if you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments below. And as always, be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. It really helps my channel to grow. Thank you for watching. Take care, and I'll see you soon.